So I just got back from the Big Nerd Ranch beginning iOS for the iPhone or iPad with Swift boot camp a couple days ago. I wanted to give a video review. I have my uh, shirt on right here, Big Nerd Ranch alumni. I think it more realistically should say something like, I survived a week of Big Nerd Ranch. But uh, I just wanted to tell you a little bit about it. Uh, some background on me. I've been doing web design stuff really for the past five years professionally, so standards compliant HTML, CSS, uh, with JavaScript libraries like Angular, JS, and jQuery mixed in there. Um, <clears throat> it was okay. I got into the mobile space with responsive web design, and I've kind of transitioned over to doing native iOS stuff I guess um, but I really don't have much experience with object professional experience with object oriented programming so it's kind of new to me um, <clears throat> so that's me the class uh, lasts a whole week uh, it's really really intense I'll say that it's no vacation at all so you know if you're thinking oh well a week away from the family from the wife kids whatever um probably after a day or so you'd rather be with your wife and family but um it's not to say it wasn't a great class um the class was fifty two hundred dollars uh luckily for me my company paid for it but even on your own, I think it's probably a great deal. Um, I mean, you could probably go from not knowing anything about iOS to having an app, to being confident enough to be able to do an app to get out on the App Store in just that short week's time. Um, so, the facilities, it's in, uh, it's an hour outside Atlanta, Georgia which, uh, you know, Atlanta, busiest airport in the world, uh, but an hour outside of it is pretty rural. You're pretty much out there on your own. The cell service wasn't even that great. I mean, it was okay. I was able to talk on it, but it wasn't great. Um, you could bring your family if you're so inclined, like my room had two queen-size beds in it, but you really get no time to spend with your family or anything, so... I mean, unless they're, you know, independent, can do their own thing without bothering you, I wouldn't suggest bringing your family. Uh, the facility was nice, clean, well-maintained. Um, you know, the part of it was fine. I mean, I really hardly spent any time in my room or anything anyway. Um, so the food, you get three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, dinner, and then they have little snacks. Um, <laughs> In my opinion, the food got progressively worse. Uh, breakfast was nice. Breakfast buffet, same thing every day. Um, but that's nice because I didn't get that. I don't get that on a daily basis. I usually just have a granola bar. That lunch is catered. Uh, it was pretty good. I mean, some of the uh, vegetarian uh, classmates, I think, had some complaints there because there wasn't too many options. But thought it was pretty good. I actually thought it was better than dinner. Uh, dinner is, it's kind of like, you can imagine like a hotel or a restaurant or a hotel like the Marriott or something like that. It's like that, uh, you know, you have a menu. It's pretty southern, uh, you know, like fried stuff, kind of greasy stuff. Uh, so you have that and you pretty much eat there almost every day so you go about half the menu through half the menu on the trip so you know it's not very good then there's another place called the country kitchen which is a little less than a mile probably down the road uh which is kind of like the same menu so you know you can imagine that southern type of uh food so my uh classmates uh there were about a little less than 25 people in the class. 
there were two women, all the rest were men, and they varied in experience levels from no experience at all to I'd say probably 30 years experience. So uh, this is a beginning class with a new language, so I guess you can kind of imagine that it would be all over the place. Um, but I think probably everyone got something out of it, so that's that's a good thing. I mean, even the the one woman who had no experience at all, I would say she'd probably be pretty close to actually like being good enough to release an app. Um, so I mean, I really liked the the classmates. That was, I mean, it's just a great environment to be in. Like everyone's so friendly, and that's really facilitated probably by the uh, the instructor of the class. Uh, he encouraged like an open environment. You know, ask ask the questions, uh, and then he wouldn't answer the questions directly. Like give you the answer, he he'd say, well. He, you know, you know how to do this, so apply that to uh, this question, or like, what do you think, or maybe you can get somebody else in the class involved, like, oh, well, you know, do you have an answer for him, or something like that. So, that was, I probably thought that was like the best part of the class, was like, meeting those awesome people, so, that's cool. Um, as far as the programming went, um, it's, I mean, it's super, super intense. So you basically cover, for the first two days was on Swift, and then the next five days were on iOS and like Xcode and stuff. But here is one of the books uh, that we covered. And then you cover two books from page end to end, basically every page. Uh, so this is the Swift book, so you read the first eight chapters of that as a pre-reading and then cover the rest for the first two days, so you can imagine that whole book in two days. Um, let me get the other book. This is the other book. It's even thicker. You cover it from end to end. You don't cover any of the pre-reading, so, I mean, that's a lot. So it was split up like, uh basically like lab lecture lab lecture or lecture lab so you you talk about it for like an hour or something and then you go on your own and there's challenges and exercises throughout the uh, throughout the book so that's pretty cool and then Matt uh, the instructor was there to answer questions stuff like that while we were working on the exercises and working through the chapter so I thought it was a pretty good learning style um, a lot of typing, but then the, the challenges at the end are really, you know, probably where you learn the most. Um, so, uh, I mean, it was a great week. My favorite part, probably about the whole thing, was the uh, challenge show that we did. Uh, it, it was the last night, really the last night we had on the ranch, so it was uh, on the Thursday when we left on the Friday. Um, it was cool, probably about uh, probably about a third of the class, quarter to a third of the class participated in it, and we had everything from just like basic interface running through like a, uh, like a simple calculation um, all the way up to like a video conferencing app, um, which is one of my favorites. And then uh, another one of my favorites, my coworker did a uh, an app poking into uh, Can I Stream It or Can I Stream dot its API. So it just took in like a like a search field and then you could search like he searched Star Trek and it gave him all the uh, different websites he had for uh, all the different websites that are out there for streaming that specific movie so that was awesome his UI was great and then I made an app too so I was able to get some feedback on that it was pretty cool I was happy about it um 
So I mean, it just it that just demonstrating how great that the atmosphere was. I mean, people from all skill levels came. It was really just a place to collaborate with each other without passing any judgment at all. Um, I really hated to say the goodbye to that place, honestly. I mean, I was scared for the first couple of days because, I mean, you basically work from 9 a.m. to 10 p.m. on some cases, on some nights. So it was tough, but you're really just in an environment where that's almost all there is to do. Everyone else is around you is doing it. So you may as well just work your hardest try your best and at the end of the day I'm really energized to come back to work and lucky for me I can apply probably a lot of this knowledge to what I do on a day-to-day -day basis at work so thanks everyone for making it such a great experience. All right.